to the beach. Going back home. Day two. Our new plan is to go to the beach. Back to the beach. Back to the beach. Hey! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Ooh. With four kids, it's madness. No birds. <laughs> it's called the Slanty Shanty because it kind of slants. I found a massive sperm whale tooth in proud body. Okay, we're in the car again. We're going to Salem because on Facebook it says that there's a Harry Potter party and if that is true, we must go. They they say there's gonna be butterbeer and chocolate frogs. So that's two wins right there. We're in. We're in. Mischief. Mischief managed. <laughs> Mischief managed. Apparently we are not the only Harry Potter nerds in town. Give us our lesson. Okay. So, mud blood is when it's a muggle and a wizard decide to fall in love and create a precious child. So it's a mixture of a regular muggle, which is a normal person, and somebody who has the wizard magical powers. The difference is that a wizard is full blood, no trace of any human portion of them. They're just all magical. Do you want to take away the rest of it? And then Voldemort has a thing for uh, pure purity of wizard blood. And so his plan was to take, was to take over the wizarding world and also to eliminate any muggle-born or, or, or wizards of mixed blood. Harry Potter is a great analogy for advocating for people with Down Syndrome because you have Voldemort who wants pure blood, right? Who's willing to eliminate anybody whose genetics are not pure and he thinks that they're lesser than people who are pure. Just saying, Harry Potter was on the side of inclusion and we are all <laughs> for inclusion. So if you're not for inclusion, you're on Voldemort's side. <laughs> I have to go down, Mr. Potter would be brought up in all this. I don't know why the boy gets so much attention for never having done anything particularly special in his life. I didn't know you wanted
tired. 